Oh, hey, it's you. It's Eric from wanderwitheric.com. Today I'm here in beautiful White Park in Concord, New Hampshire. I previously filmed a video here looking for spring flowers a few weeks back, uh, but we're not going to do that today. I'm just kind of starting out here on a different kind of adventure because if you might recall, one of my early videos, I was looking for the steepest street in Concord. And I never really did find it, but after that, one of my viewers gave me a tip as to where I might be able to find the steepest street in Concord. So today, I'm using White Park as a starting point to go and see if we can find the steepest street in Concord, which is rumored to be in this neighborhood. And I've got a little special surprise in store. So come with me and we'll wander around and see if we can find the steepest street in Concord. This granite block appears to have been split using feathers and wedges. Okay, here we have what I would call a contender. Sorry for the noise, there's some construction going on just down the road. But uh, this one might be one of the steeper ones, so let's see what we've got. Now for that surprise I was talking about. Whoops. We have a magnetic protractor and angle locator. So let's see what we've got. Let's get over here to the more or less steepest part of this hill. Yeah, roughly around here. All right. Oops, that's not right. About seven or seven and a half degrees. Okay, just for the record, this is Franklin Street between Liberty and Auburn reading about six or seven degrees of slope right here at what I believe to be the steepest part that I can see right now. Let's keep exploring, see what else we find. This time of year we're entering into just the finest weather, the finest months of weather that we get around here. Everything's turning bright green blue skies on a day like today. Just absolutely gorgeous. Okay, I've reached the top of the hill, the ridge up here. So we're gonna go down this way and look down the hill and see what we see. Okay, a local I encountered told me I might find a steep street down this way, so let's go see. Don't be afraid to ask the locals while you're wandering. Oftentimes they'll have information that the guidebooks or the internet were lacking and can clue you in to interesting things in the local vicinity. Just make sure they look like the friendly sort before you approach them. Well, this street's been uphill all the way so far, which means it's gonna have to go back downhill at some point. Could be what I'm looking for. Okay, this is a really good sign. It's really windy out here. A 
apparently there's a water tank here. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to go up here, but I'm going up anyway. Let's see what we can see. Not going too far up there, but I can kind of see something up there. Not much to look at from this angle. Definitely a wild space over here. Pretty steep in here. It's another very steep piece of road. This one's reading about seven or eight degrees. A little bit steeper than the other one. And this is what it looks like from the pedestrian view. That was Pennacook Street that I just came down and found the steep hill. Sign above the door of this house says it's the Perkins Patterson House circa 1854. Quite a mansion. This building, Eustace Hall, is a union office and event hall owned by the Professional Firefighters of Concord, New Hampshire. This is Old North Cemetery, the oldest in Concord and one that houses a President of the United States. We'll go explore this cemetery in more detail in a future video. Okay, here we are at Church Street. The tip that I received said that this may very well be the steepest street in Concord. And it looks like it could be a contender. So, let's see what science has to say. reading between seven and eight degrees here so it's really close to the Pinnacook Hill that I was at a few minutes ago this looks like a great street to ride a skateboard down Alright, so we've seen a couple of really steep streets already, but there's one more spot I'd like to check. On my way, it's going to be a little bit of a walk. trying to find School Street. I guess this means I'm on the right track. Okay, now we're talking. This could be a contender. Survey says about seven degrees. That was a pretty steep area also. Not quite as steep as the other streets. But I do believe if we keep going that way, we might find something even steeper. That's the last place I'm going to check today. 
Okay, here we are, corner of school and fruit. This is the street I was trying to find the other day, and I believe that this might be the steepest street in Concord. But let's go up here, find the steepest part, and see what the science says. Survey says 10 degrees, which makes this the steepest street in Concord. At least it's the steepest one I've been able to find so far. If you know a steeper street in Concord, let me know and I'll go check it out. And we can put the science to the test to find out if there's a steeper street than this one. Well, Concord certainly doesn't compare to some other hilly cities that I've been to in my life, like San Francisco, California, or Astoria, Oregon, for example. But there's a few hilly areas of town, and since it's all fairly close to home for me, it's just a fun game to come out here and see what we can find as far as the steepest streets. Happy that I was able to employ some actual science in today's exploration to see which streets were steeper than others. If you enjoyed today's video, please subscribe to the channel. Consider clicking the like button, leaving a comment. All those things really help the word to get out about my channel. Please also tell anybody that you know that you think might enjoy it. As usual, I'm glad that you decided to wander with Eric today. I hope you'll come back and wander with me again soon. Until next time, keep exploring. The steepest street in Concord, part two.